Many theories exist regarding how the US came to support Pakistan's F-16 program and how they were convinced of the agreement. These three takeaways are the big factors behind this deal. The impression of business agreements to put influences the US to provide aid and support to Pakistan. Number 1. Changing the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Imran Khan, the departed Prime Minister, was the most supportive of Russia's friends and even flew to meet Putin after Russia attacked Ukraine and demonstrated support for Russia. Despite other issues, he becomes overly dependent on China, and he even supports purchasing additional J-10 fighter jets, which they recently acquired. He claimed that in 2021, the nation would be forced to bear the burden of the errors done by the US in Afghanistan during its two-decade war on terror. He primarily opposed Western nations, which he also claims the US is responsible for crises and terrorism and phase in Afghanistan's intolerable difficulties. The US was waiting for Imran Khan's rule to shift, and after Shebaz Sharif became the new prime minister on April 11, 2022, a bilateral relationship began to grow. The US would take Pakistan's request for F-16 fleet support very seriously. Number 2. There are too many reliances on Chinese participation in defense. China is Pakistan's only truly helpful neighbor, and both nations are growing cooperatively to assist economic and product development. It has no choice but to work with China in such a situation. With the new fighter jets and armed weapons, it was necessary to provide military support against the border tensions with India and Afghanistan as well as internal terrorism activities. The US is currently focused on Pakistan's demands and requirements. And it would definitely be in opposition to the fighter jet export agreement from China. Additionally to divert Pakistan's focus from China to the United States defense assistance. And it would significantly alter this. Moreover, it might assist in lending money to Pakistan to bolster its aid efforts. Number 3 putting pressure on India's F-A-18 agreement? The F-16 agreement is a support program, not a sale of a new fighter aircraft. Without assistance, the Pakistani F-16 fighter will continue to be inactive. However, there is a rumor that the US may enter into a game-changing deal with Pakistan's defense, pressuring India to purchase F-A-18 fighter jets, while still wanting to maintain counter-offers to Pakistan and maintain a friendly environment. The US tries its best to support India in the purchase of other defense products. Pakistan currently has 85 F-16 fighter jets, 75 of which are operational. For India, it won't make any difference because it has bilateral support from the European and Russian nations and can choose to purchase any jets that are appropriate for its needs. The only source of Pakistan's defensive capabilities is the US to develop those nations without heavily depending on China and other nations. But given that the instability in neighboring nations poses a threat to the nations, this may result in fresh problems for India. Not just Pakistan has received support for the F-16. The United States supports Turkey as well. The Biden administration restated its intention to supply dozens of F-16 fighter jets to Ankara in order to improve its current fleet, while Turkey stated that it would accept Sweden's and Finland's aspirations to join the NATO alliance. The Pakistan Air Force's F-16 program is being supported by a planned foreign military sales case, which the U.S. government has informed Congress about. As part of a long-standing policy, the U.S. offers life cycle maintenance and sustainment packages for platforms of American origin to Pakistan, a crucial counterterrorism partner. However, this development could have an impact on some of Pakistan's current alliances and pose a fresh threat to its neighbors. Share your thoughts on Pakistan's support for F-16 fighter jets.